Hello ladies and gentlemen, this video is a really, really quick update video for those of you who have purchased the Miracle Box keyboard remote. If you purchase this remote, this video is a troubleshooting video in the event your remote is not responding to your box. So let's do let's do some troubleshooting. So first things first is number one, make sure you have batteries in the remote make sure they are um, one facing opposite each other so you want to have it kind of like this and making sure they're facing opposite of each other so once you got your batteries in the remote you know you got batteries in so um, <laughs> it's not the batteries so let's go over here and let's check the box and I want you to make sure <clears throat> as in the previous video that you have the dongle in the box so you want to make sure that this little thing is in your box alright so how you know if you got batteries that are working when you click it you should see a white light and you see that you see how the white light comes on so that's how you know everything's working and you should have the dongle in the box now if you have that and your remote is still not working You know, you got the white light that comes on, nothing's happening, nothing's working, and you're like, Melvin, I'm going to kill you because I spent my money and this remote is not working, I'm going to strangle you. Well, before you kill me, <laughs> let me first of all apologize for your remote not working right out the box because it should, but let me also explain to you, I have a love-hate relationship with our manufacturer. I love the fact that they can produce uh, these awesome uh, things of technology to allow us to stream but sometimes they do not communicate with me the best and I do apologize to all of my customers whenever I find something that needs a better communication I'm going to try and get it to you as promptly as possible so what happened is the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 are also devices that will work with this remote so if you have a PlayStation and you have a, a, a USB port or, an, or, or Xbox one and you have one this will work with that with this will work with that um, video game system so you can type and stuff and get your searches out and type to people well what happened is the video game system had an update and this wasn't working with the video game system so they had a new firmware for this remote that's right a new firmware for this little thing like I said technology is really really hot so what happens is with the new firmware the remote sometimes may not be synced in with the dongle and here is a quick fix to get this to work now I'm just going to show you again this is not working it's not moving nothing's happening and it's just not functioning so we have to just do a little sync thing I do not mean to make you a program and I apologize for this but I feel like the more you know the better you do so I want to make sure I give you all the information I can in regards to how to function this remote and the box and everything possible so you can be able to be a better user and really maximize the potential of all this great technology you have in your hands here so let's go over to the box and I'm going to turn you into a little program here and please forgive all the wires um, I do a lot of testing on this TV so, we have the box here, which has the dongle in here. What we have to do is sync this remote with the dongle. So that's going to be very easy to do. And all we have to do, let me see if I can get you guys to look here, is we have to aim the remote and the dongle at the same time. We need to hold return, I'm sorry, we need to hold the OK button, which is right here, and the return button, which is right here. We need to press and hold it at the same time. When we do that, we're going to wait for the light to flash three times, and boom, we're going to release it. So hold it, let that light flash three times just like I did, and that is going to sync it with this box. So now, let's go back to the TV, and let's see if we're working. All right. So... You just saw me sync it by holding this until that white light flashed three times. So let's see if this thing is working. All right. Oh, looks like it is. So I have the 
the arrow and I have all this stuff working so we can turn off the arrow by going right here arrow off so now the arrow doesn't it's, it's uh it's not moving because I don't want to use the laser guided feature right now so now we got a working remote stay tuned I'm going to do it again so you see exactly how to do it just in case you missed it when I did it the first time Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here are the instructions again in case I went a little too fast. And this is step number one of troubleshooting your remote. Make sure you have batteries in your Miracle Box keyboard remote. So we're going to open this up and we're going to see we have batteries in there and they should be facing opposite of one another. So now you have batteries in there, they're facing opposite one another. And what you're going to do is make sure those batteries are powering this remote. You can tell by turning it over and you'll see a light, white light kind of blink and you know it's powering the remote. So now you have power to the remote and that portion is okay. So let's move to the next step of troubleshooting this keyboard remote and that's step two, making sure we have the dongle in the box. Dongle in the box is troubleshooting number two. So if it's not in the box, this will never work if this is not in the box. So make sure you have it in here tight. Not like, don't have it in here kind of kind of halfway like this. You want to have it in here tight like that. So now it's in here tight, it's ready to go. And so now you've done all the steps and everything is checked and you're good and you're saying okay well I did that so now here's the part where you know you become a person that's a mini programmer by syncing this remote into the box now I'm not gonna say that because you have to sync Bluetooth together and everything so it's just a simple sync process but here's what you do to sync this thing into the dongle because again this remote will work with other devices it has firmware on it and we just have to make sure we sync it so we're going to hit OK. Well, not hit it yet, but we're going to put our hands over the OK button and the return button, and we're going to press them down at the same time, and this light should flash three or four times. So I'm going to do it now to sync it, and we're going to hold it and press now. All right, you see it flash. Take your hands off, and the light is going to stay on. So from there, you just press OK and it'll flash two more times and guess what you should be able to use your remote Now you're gonna see that the the little mouse on there that automatically comes on you can turn that off by going right here to turn off the laser guided mouse feature and now use your click feature so your remote is now working and everything is okay we just had to sync it which is why we had this second part of the instructions for those who, who didn't get it on the first go around uh, when I made this video so um, ladies and gentlemen thank you so much we do apologize for this and just remember Miracle Box always has support if there's any videos that we can give you that will actually make you a better user of this box we're going to do it and if you have questions or concerns and you have your Miracle Box and you just need someone to walk you through or you just need some help Feel free to visit us at MiracleBoxMedia.com and go to the contact page and send us a simple message or give us a call and we'll be happy to help you out and return your message. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much and you can now enjoy your keyboard remote and just know you're a little bit more knowledgeable now on this thing than you were a while ago. So enjoy your remote, have fun, and we'll see you in the next video.